time to do a high tech physics experiment. What do we have here? Devin's donuts. When you have six donuts, we better get the mass of each one. I'm tearing the scale. Now it's zero. Okay, write this down now, 66.4 grams. Donut number one, 67.5 grams, 66.7 grams, 63.3 grams, 63.9, 70.0. And I bet you there's uh, some statistics we can do with all that, huh? So here we have the heaviest donut, 70 grams, set up in the hammock problem. What do you think each spring scale reads? Now you might notice that we're using a different spring scale. The typical spring scale that you guys use is the green one, and that goes up to about 500 grams. Well, with such a light donut, we're gonna have to go with our special lightweight spring scale. This goes up to 250 grams. It's the blue one. We reserve their use strictly for donut labs. Now the question is, how are we gonna get that angle? Kind of hard to put a protractor on this. How about we use a meter stick? Let's see. We're up at about 10 centimeters here. We go over to 70 centimeters. 40 is right in the middle. And now a second meter stick tells me how far down the donut is hanging. And it's 20 centimeters to the middle. All righty, we are getting about 75 grams. Pretty close on the other one too, 75. Let's go to the whiteboard and see what we can calculate. Well, what do we have here? It's a diagram of the apparatus. The meter stick across the top read 10 centimeters, 70 centimeters, and 40 right in the middle. We used another meter stick to measure the distance down to the center where these lines intersect. That was 20 centimeters. Horizontally to the middle was 30. We can now find the angle from the horizontal. Tangent, a little bit of math, and we have 33.7 degrees. Time for a free body diagram. Now we have symmetry in the problem. Both of these angles are 33.7. It's the angle below the horizontal or the angle above the horizontal, it's the same angle. Of course, we have an X component and a Y component of each spring scale. Each Y component equally shares the load of 70 grams, so they're 35 each. Well, that has to be true because the X components have to be equal. It's not going sideways. Those angles are equal. Well, then that's, these have to be equal. Using sine, plug in the values, and we're calculating 63.1 grams. That's a theoretical value. We actually saw the spring scale read 75 grams. Well, then that's an experimental value. This gives us a percent error of 11.9 grams over 63.1 grams. Man, that's almost 20% error. So what could cause that kind of error? The spring scales themselves have some weight and they tend to sag. I zeroed the spring scales. But even without a donut, when they're pulled to the side, their own weight, when diagonal, affects the reading. You can see that we have about 10 grams here and there's no donut. Well, that explains most of our error. If the spring scale reads 75 grams, about 10 grams is just due to the weight of the spring scale itself hanging diagonally. Of course, one more part. I have to destroy the evidence. Mmm, just five more donuts to go.